Hey y'all, I'm Missy. Welcome to the Crafty Cove. Today is Thrift Flip Thursday, hosted by Savannah at Savvy Crafts with Savannah and Shayna at Robinson Repurposing. And we'll talk about that in just a little while. Right now, we're gonna get right into these DIYs. So, DIY number one. I found this and I'm not really sure exactly what it is. I got it at the Goodwill and it was $5.25. And I thought maybe it was used to like store rolling pins. So if that's right, y'all let me know. But I just take some chalk paint and paint three good layers over this. I did clean it up first. And then we just used our chalk paint and our chalk brush. And we painted three good layers. We're going to do a chippy paint technique on this. And... I want to give people credit for this, but y'all have seen it so many places that I'm afraid if I mention just one person or two people, the others will get upset. So forgive me for that, but it's all over YouTube. I'm just taking some Vaseline and I'm rubbing it on here. Now I don't do it like completely over the piece. Maybe I should have. I'm not sure. I'm not positive about how exactly to do this technique, but this is how I did it and I love how it turned out. So you just rub some Vaseline on there in different spots and then I'm going to take steel waverly chalk paint and i'm going to do this first layer i do kind of just a a really thin layer with my chippy brush and i actually like how this looked but i had set in my mind i was going to try the chippy paint technique and that's what we're going to do but i think this right here looks awesome also so we just paint one good layer on there and then we get it dry with my heat gun then I'm taking my two Cricut spatulas and you just like start scraping. And the places where the Vaseline is at is supposed to just like chip off. So we're just gonna start scraping this off. Now the second layer, I'm going to do another layer with that steel gray chalk paint also. But for that layer, we're going to do a thicker of a layer. But Because I'm not sure if I just didn't get enough paint on there. I mean, trust me right now i think it looks great but i want to get just a little more so we're going to do it again we're going to put more vaseline on here just random spots i do put it a little in more in more spots than i did the first time and we are going to just get all that rubbed in there and then we're going to take our waverly and steel again and our chippy brush and like i said it's a little harder to see because of my lighting here and i apologize for that y'all know i hot i craft in a hotel room so it i'm always going to have different angles because i'm going to be in different places in the hotel room when my husband's home uh but anyway uh we do a really thick a lot thicker of a job of painting this layer now we get it all dry. I use my heat gun, get it completely dry again. Now we're gonna take this scraper. I just use my Cricut scraper, like I said before, and this does make a difference. Having more Vaseline on there and a thicker coat of paint, I think makes a huge difference. And we're just gonna go on there and we're gonna scrape this off. You know, just do it to your heart's content. Sometimes it went all the way down to the wood when I started scraping and I'm okay with that because that's the look I wanted was this chippy paint look. So after we get all this scraped, we go ahead. I wanted to do this top part before I did my sides just to see how it was going to turn out. So we do do this to the entire piece. Now that spot right there has a little drawer that goes into it. I even do the same exact thing to the drawer again. I'm not sure. Some people use wire brushes to go over this after they paint it. And that's what like scrapes their paint off. I didn't have a wire brush and I wanted to do this technique. So again, I just used what I had. I just used my Cricut scrapers right there. And between scrapes, I would wipe them off and start again. <laughs> so here we're just showing you, you know, again, I do the sides the same exact way. There was no difference the Vaseline and then the paint and then the scraping. And I actually love, love, love how this turned out. It turned out, when I first did it, that first layer, I was like, eh, it's not really doing what I want. It just looks distressed. It doesn't really look chippy, you know, whatever. But the more I did it, you know, the more I loved this. I think it turns out totally adorable.
Okay, so now that we've got it all painted, I have made a decal that says farm. It's the farm compass, I believe is what it's called on Etsy. I'll try to remember to leave that link in my description box. Now, I am showing you all of this pretty much because this was a little difficult to get my vinyl to stick. And I don't know if it was because of the Vaseline paint combination, if it was because I scraped the paint off or if it is my vinyl i'm not sure but i just wanted to show you all and i'm going to show you again in another project that sometimes vinyl you know it just doesn't want to do what you want it to do but if you take your time and you just really go slow at it and hold those letters down as you go you will and can get it off now, I did have to fix my arrow because, again, this was just not sticky. And, I mean, it's sticking, but it, it, it wasn't a good stick. I don't know if that makes any sense to y'all or not. But, anyway, I just go ahead and get that on there. And then I take my Mod Podge. Of course, way too much Mod Podge. <sighs> y'all, I am famous for this. <laughs> I always use too much. But I just Mod Podge over all that. And not only is that going to protect this, it is also going to help that vinyl to lay down better now i take this little knob that i had in my stash that i went ahead and painted and distressed i'm just going to glue that right on there and then i'm going to take another decal that says recipes i've made both of these on my cricut and i'm going to attempt to put this one on there this is another example again i don't I don't know why it's not wanting to stick, but oh, it took forever for me to get this to stick. But on this one, I'm just coming at it from the side, peeling from the side, and just really, again, taking my time to get this on there. And after we get that on there, we go ahead and Mod Podge again. And this is our finished product. Y'all, look at that. I mean, I maybe could have accomplished the same exact look with just distressing it, but I wanted to try this. And I absolutely love this. This is probably my favorite in this entire video. I hope you all liked it also. So again, today is Thrift Flip Thursday. And this challenge is held on the second Thursday of every month. It's $10 and below, and it's hosted by Savvy Crafts with Savannah and Robinson Repurposing. And I'm just going through here and just showing you a little bit of their content. Y'all, all these ladies are amazing. And every month they pick a co-host, and this month it is Amber at Amber XO DIYs. And she is also, she's awesome. All three of these ladies, if you like farmhouse decor, if you like Goodwill flips or thrift flips or anything like that, I promise if you go visit any of these ladies, you will not be disappointed. Uh, Amber also does a lot of hauls, like Dollar Tree hauls. And I always love to watch her hauls just to see what has come out in new stores also. So thank you, Savannah and Shana, for sponsoring this. Congratulations, Amber, on being the co-host this month. It's amazing. I love this th flip. And they're also doing one on Instagram. If you do not have YouTube, just message one of the ladies over on Instagram and they'll get you started on that. Okay, y'all. DIY number two. This is a really simple one. I am making a two-tiered tray. I got this candle holder at the Goodwill for 78 cents. These plates I have had in my stash since Christmas because at Christmas time, I bought like 10 of them to make gifts with and i think i ended up having three left so these are two of those but we're just going to and we're also going to use some beads but we're going to take this uh waverly chalk paint in ink and we're going to take and paint this entire candlestick it does have like some fruit embellishments on it but once you get it decorated you can't really tell so i didn't even bother with embellishing those with any more to paint or distress or anything like that 
These blocks are from a brain teaser game that I bought at the Dollar Tree a couple weeks ago and used on a previous DIY. And I'm just going to paint six of these black uh, with the same paint. I only used four. And this is another candlestick I got at the Goodwill for like a quarter. But this was used in a previous DIY, so it had some chips on it. So I just took it and gave it a little fresh coat of the black. Now this chicken came in a little box that I bought at another thrift store. And I think it was like 50 cents, maybe a dollar for the entire box. But I loved it. So I'm just taking it and painting white uh, we really chalk paint all over it now we're going to take one of our plates and flip it over we're going to add some feet that's what these little brain teaser blocks are, were for we're just going to attach all four of these to the bottom of the plate it doesn't give it a lot of height you know as far as that goes but I just liked it because then it wasn't just sitting right on my table I had a little bit of something that kind of I don't know what I'm trying to say y'all it just gives it feet <laughs> So anyway, we take some E6000 and some hot glue and we just glue all four of these on the bottom of this one plate. Now we are going to take our candlestick and we are going to glue it in the middle of this bottom plate. Again, E6000 and hot glue, your short term, long term hold. Uh, that hot glue just holds it while the E6000 actually sets up. Now we're going to do the exact same thing with the top plate. We're going to put E6000 and hot glue and get that top plate glued on there also. Now we're going to glue our second candlestick on that top plate. So again, E6000, hot glue, we get it as centered as we can. Y'all know me with measuring and centering. I'm not the best in the world, um, but it got on there and it looks pretty good. So I'm not really complaining about it, but y'all know how I am. After we get this second candlestick on there, we're going to take our chicken and we're going to glue it to the top of the second candlestick. And again, E6000 hot glue. And I'm sorry I'm out of frame, y'all. <sighs> but it was a taller piece, so <laughs> I apologize for that. And this is how this turns out. Super cute. I mean, this might have cost me $5 to make. Um, not counting, that's counting my plates that I already had. So actually not even that much. And this is what it looks like decorated. And I just think it's adorable. I love it. I can't wait to get it home and decorate it. So if y'all like my work and would like to support me, just visit my link in my description box and you can buy me a coffee. You don't have to. I just put it out there if you all would like to. Okay, y'all. DIY number three in our final DIY. I got this Lazy Susan is what I'm calling it. It's like a riser and a Lazy Susan and it was $3.25 at the Goodwill. And we're going to paint this up with a chippy brush and the Apple Barrel white uh, acrylic paint. Now, we're going to do the same chippy look on this, but we're going to do this with just the one color. So you see that rough coat that it gave, and I actually like that too. But I'm just taking my Vaseline, again, random spots. I did learn from the first project to paint a thicker coat. So now we're going to paint a thicker coat of the white acrylic paint again. And I think that really makes all the difference in the world as far as getting it to chip but again i'm no expert y'all i'm learning just like y'all are so i just paint a really good coat of that white on there then we're going to take our scraper tools again and we are going to start y'all see my pajamas yeah i was crafting in pajamas that day and they yes they are christmas pajamas <laughs> but i was comfortable so anyway we're just going to take our scraper we're going to go through we're going to scrape this thing up we want that chippy look Again, sometimes it goes all the way down to the wood, which 
actually, in my opinion, makes it look even better. So that did not bother me in the least bit. I go all the way around the edges of this one, you know, all over, distress it with that, chi with that chippy look as much as I can. And I just, I just keep cleaning my little scraper in between uh, because it does get some paint and gunk on it. So isn't that awesome, y'all? I love how it turned out. And then I just flip it over. I do the same thing to the bottom. Now, I don't do as much of a chippy look on the bottom, but I do paint it all up and do the Vaseline. And again, it's not as much because it's the bottom. You're really not going to see it much. But I did want it to all be cohesive. So now we've printed out another decal. And again, this is one of those that I usually don't have trouble with this vinyl. So I'm really thinking... It's the combination of the paints and the Vaseline and, and the chipping the stuff off. And I mean, that might not be it, but I think that's what it is because usually this, this vinyl does not give me this much trouble. So again, I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit of this, a little bit more than I would normally show you, uh, just because I want you to see, it is frustrating sometimes with your Cricut, not with your Cricut, but with your vinyl. But if you take your time and just kind of, sometimes I have to just, pull it off at different angles like I have to switch my angle to get it to pull off right but if you take your time it will come off and it gives it such a high-end look but again if you don't have a Cricut use your handwriting use stickers Dollar Tree has some awesome stickers right now you can order decals off Etsy you know don't let this stop you from making projects like this and again I had trouble so I have to straighten up some of my letters some of them come completely off and I just have to stick them back down, but no big deal. We get it done. Now we're just going to take some more Mod Podge, go over that. Not only is it protecting it, but it's helping that decal to stay on better. So this is what it turned out like. I love it. I, I said my favorite was my first project, but now that I'm going back through and looking at it, I really love all three of them, y'all. And this is what it looks like when I decorate it up. Adorable. Again, thank you, Savannah, Shayna, and Amber for this month's challenge. I enjoy it. I look forward to it every single month. Y'all can find me on Instagram or drop me a line in my email. Thanks for watching, y'all. I appreciate you all. Y'all come back now. You hear?